And when we talk about growth, the Congressman is a great partner in stimulating growth in this state and understanding how you have to stimulate the private sector of the economy. So how are we doing? We have full employment in Arkansas. We have created 56,000 jobs since I've been governor. And we know it's not because of everything I did. It's because of entrepreneurs and the private sector creating jobs and opportunity and government getting out of the way of them. And that's our philosophy. And so the first quarter of this year, we had a 3.9% growth rate, which led the nation Arkansas led the nation in economic growth. <laughs> CNN featured a story just this last couple of days that talked about Arkansas bringing back the first garment manufacturing com company from China to this state and then talked about Sun Paper and a $1 billion investment. Arkansas is leading the way in international development as well. And so we're focusing on that growth and that opportunity and part of that is putting more money in individuals' pocket, growing the private sector and not the government sector. And we're getting ready for a next legislative session. We just finished absorbing a $100 million tax cut, reducing our income tax rate, and let me tell you, we're going to do more tax cuts in the upcoming session of our legislature. And then, we're the party of opportunity. And we have to remind ourselves every day that it is not just about one segment of our population. It is not just about our friends. It's not just about those that are close to us. It is about opportunity for every Arkansan, whether they live in a rural place, whether they are a minority, whether they're Hispanic, whether they're African American, or whatever their background is. And we have to continue to build within the minority community of our party. And I'm delighted that we have a chairman that understands the importance of that and focuses on that. And so it's a, it's a simple thing. Whenever we look at education, we have legislators that are evaluating, is this good for rural education? Does it give every child an opportunity? We looked at computer coding initiative. We wanted to make sure it was available free of charge in rural schools as well as urban schools. And so that is the initiative. That is the important part of making sure there is equal opportunity. And that brings me back to my final point, and that is our chairman, Doyle Webb. Can you think of setting performance measure for any chairman that are lofty, that are high, and say, we expect you to win? And yet, those performance measures have been met. 100% of our fellow delegation, our federal delegation, Republican. Our statewide constitutional officers, Republican. We achieved high levels in the legislature, and then we grew on those. Building at the grassroots level. Those are performance measures that our chairman has fulfilled. Success, he is a friend. He's someone that I can count on as chairman of this party growing it, building it, sustaining it, and supporting uh, what we want to do in the legislature from a policy standpoint. We also have a chairman that is a national leader. I see across this country those that are close to Chairman Priebus that's now going to work with the White House that are respected across our country, and Doyle has demanded that respect because of who he is and what he has done in this state. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure as governor to nominate Doyle Webb as chairman, once again, for the Republican Party of Arkansas.